efficiency and he has given that saturation current 4.8 milliampere very good problem again this also he has given then uh, then power he has given then energy of the photon so from power what happened this will become intense to that one so in terms of power you can bring it so th th this is about the the saturation current so from here is what we'll get eta from eta what happened you can calculate the number of photo photo electrons that are ejected oh, so like sorry th this eta has to be calculated how to calculate this I, I think i'm confusing you let me put it this one a number of photons incident power of source by energy of photon power of source given 1 milliwatt and 3000 amstrongs we'll get number of photons incident saturation current we know from this what happen we'll come to know <coughs> the number of photo electrons getting this so now you know number of incident photon number of photo electrons can we calculate efficiency clear this is so now this efficiency has to be used for the so threshold wavelength for the cell so you can work out all the things a saturation current for second case it should be is dash should be equal to eta i a lambda 2 by sc or, or directly power of the source instead of all this number of photons incident in the second case so we will go like this here ni dash is equal to power of source ps dash ep dash then is asking the saturation current you you know efficiency from the efficiency <coughs> you even the efficiency will remain same and you know ni dash so you'll get any dash so any dash is equal to eta into ni dash And from any dash, you are going to calculate the the saturation current. Okay, sir. So, okay, all of you. Bye. Huh? Okay, I'll stop the class. Thank you, all of you.